I'll debate anyone the broadcasters invite. But the man who said the man who said it will be feeble to back out the debate was him. Now, now we all understand that as long ago as last Thursday, his abiding passion was to give the Green Party a platform. But it is frankly a pathetic excuse. It, 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 it's not. It's not for him. It's not for him. It's not for him, it's not for me, it's not for any party leader to decide who is in the debate. It's up to the broadcasters. That's the country we live in. Now, is he really telling, is he really telling the people of Britain that he's going to seek to deny them the TV debate if he doesn't get to choose who's in them? We had a set of European elections this year, and UKIP and the Greens both beat the Liberal Democrats, I'm afraid to say. And you either have. Uh, it's very simple. You either have both of them or you have none of them. So let me ask him again why is he so chicken when it comes to the Greens? Mr. Speaker. Person, there's only one person running scared of these debates, and that's this Prime Minister. And when he says, when he says he doesn't want to take part because of the Greens, nobody, but nobody believes him. Not the people behind him, not the person next to him, not the country. However, he dresses it up. Everyone knows he's running scared. These debates don't belong to me. They don't belong to him. They belong to the British people. What does he think gives him the right to run away from these debates?